All right, welcome to a special two-in-one video. I'm gonna be doing a how is it reactive on the tube top back bling, as well as a general review of the Fortnite Classics bundle, as you can see here. So in my how is it reactive series, I cover skins, back blings, and accessories and determine how exactly they're reactive. So the tube top obviously says down there, TV flickers when taking damage, but it doesn't actually show you what it looks like and there's no way to trigger it on this particular screen. So that's where I come into play with my testing. Now, as for the Fortnite Classics bundle itself, you get four items for 1200 V-Bucks, including the reactive tube top back bling. So there's three back blings and one pickaxe called the Nomax. Now, unfortunately, this pack is not giftable. I don't know why they do this because it's basically losing them money. If someone wants to gift this to someone else, why wouldn't they allow that? I don't know. So you have to spend 1200 V-Bucks only. You cannot gift this item. So let's briefly go through all four items and then I'll show you in game. So Rocky is first, it says unbelievably heavy. And of course, all of these items are from chapter one. You'll remember this guy, he was around in several spots that could spawn three chests as well as a rift. Pretty sweet. Unfortunately, he's not very impressive here in game. Next up is the chair. Most of you guys should remember this. In fact, it's still on the map right now. But when you weeble wobble the character, you can see the physics of the pillow, it actually moves. So that's not exactly reactive, but at least it has some movement, unlike Mr. Rocky Balboa over here who doesn't move at all. Next up is the tube top. It says previously on your back. Pretty nice dead pun there, I enjoy that. I'm curious if the TV actually glows. It looks like those colors may stand out a bit, so we'll see. Then there's the Nomax pickaxe, and it says Nomax must be obeyed. So this one kind of has an Easter egg here. Listen carefully when I swing this. You could hear there on the third swing, he kind of did the giggle. And if you remember these characters, the gnomes, sometimes they're in challenges, and that's the noise they give off to alert you of their presence. So what I wanna know is if other people can hear this and how often it triggers. So there you go, those are the four items. If I had to rank them just on looks here, I would say Tube Top is my favorite, followed by the chair, followed by Rocky. And of course the pickaxe is in its own category. It's not bad. There's actually a gnome skin in the game. I don't currently own it, but this would probably go nicely with that character. I think it's a Christmas skin, to be honest, but I can't really remember. In fact, I did buy its pickaxe because it was reactive right here. This is the gnome skin's pickaxe. So, I don't know. I think this would totally go with that gnome skin, though. All right, so I've got a friend of mine that follows me on Twitter. His name is Ren2931, and he's gonna help me out in this how is it reactive part. I actually promised this particular guy that he could help me in a video a few days ago and I let him down because I had to go right away and he couldn't help me. So I'm gonna invite him in here. He's gonna help me test the tube top back bling. All right, so here we are in game. You can see the back bling is not very big, so that's pretty nice. It's not a big honking TV. But what I'm a little disappointed by is that the colors don't light up. Here we are in the dark or the shade, and you can see they don't glow at all. It's almost like they're not even there. I mean, you would think I thought for sure this thing would shine bright, like the glow effect, but no, nothing at all. But that's okay, here's the pickaxe. This is what it sounds like when you swing it. So you can hear that nice whooshing sound. It does have a slight silvery white contrail that is not normal, that is unique to this pickaxe. That's pretty sweet. How about when we hit something? Let's see if there's an explosion. I mean, there is, but it looks like it's the default one. Nothing special there. All right, let's see if we can get that giggle from the gnome to happen. Well, there was four swings and I didn't hear it. Try not to hit the center there. All right, well, that is unfortunate. It doesn't look like it happens on structures. Try a few more times here. Oh, there is absolutely no Easter egg giggle there. Now we did hear it in the item shop screen, so we know it's there, so maybe it's only against players. And if that's the case, that is a bit unfortunate because how often do you use your pickaxe to hit an actual player or a bot? That's gonna be disappointing, but I think that is truly the case. So this is my friend Ren that I was talking about. He's gonna be helping me showcase 
the reactivity to this back blade. Okay, so I'm going to stand behind Ren here. He's going to throw an enemy bot, and when he takes damage, that is when you can see the gray flicker on the back blade. Okay, go ahead. There it is. You can clearly see the flicker. So it's not that impressive, but we can showcase this with fall damage as well. So let me do this real quick first, and then you can you can jump down as well. I built a little ramp over here. So this effect takes place when you get damaged by an enemy, or when you take fall damage, or when you take fire damage. So here we go. I'm going to jump off, take note of the back bling. It fuzzes up for about, I'd say about three seconds. All right, here comes Ren down. Go ahead and jump. And I'll focus on your back bling. Oh, did you still take damage here? Yeah. Okay, do yeah, it one more time. Three. <laughs> yeah, it's about three seconds. Okay. So, in my opinion, let me know if you agree with this, Ren, but in my opinion, this is a little disappointing because if you're in the middle of a fight... Okay, go ahead and jump. If you're in the middle of a fight and you're taking damage, you're not going to be looking at your back bling. I mean, you're going to be focused on the guys doing damage to you. So, in my opinion, it's not a very good reactive feature. Like, let's say your skin was reactive and you, like, lit up every time you took damage. You would notice that during a fight. But I think it's going to be real hard to see this tiny back bling flickering for three seconds when guys are shooting at you. Does that make sense? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's just, what I, that's just what I'm thinking. Like, there are reactive skins out there that actually turn colors when you take damage. And that's completely noticeable. But this little thing, I mean, I could barely even notice myself when I took damage on this. Okay, so now let's showcase the pickaxe. So... As I mentioned earlier, there is a little Easter egg. It's a, a giggle from the gnome. However, only you and your teammate can hear it. So I'm going to test this. I'm going to throw this down. And Ren here is going to pickaxe this bot to death. And hopefully we can hear the gnome's giggle. Ready? He's probably going to kill us, but let's try it. Ready? Here we go. There. I heard it. So... That was Ren pickaxing, that was not me, and we definitely heard the... Did you hear the giggle yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now swap teams, and I'm just going to prove to everyone that the enemy can't hear. It. Okay, so I want you to pickaxe me until you hear the noise, and let me know when you hear it. Wait a minute. Did you I hear it. it? I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. I just heard it. Okay, well, oddly enough, I heard it as well. That's not supposed to happen. Hmm. Okay, let me pickaxe you. Can yeah, maybe maybe so. I didn't think that was the case though. Okay, let me pickaxe you. You listen carefully. Tell me if you hear it. Here we go. Did I you did. hear that? No. You didn't. I just heard the I just heard the pickaxe sound. Huh. Maybe it's only on certain things, like certain turns, they could hear it. Let's see. Wanna try um, it again? Yeah. Okay, he didn't do it there. One more time? He didn't do it. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. He did? Yeah, I just heard it. Okay. I'm so at literally 10 health. That's weird because I did not hear it there. Okay, so maybe enemies can hear it. I was totally mistaken it's about like that. It's like certain times. I didn't yeah. hear it either. And it was weird because on my screen, I didn't hear it and he heard it. Weird. So that's kind of a drawback. Like if you pickaxe someone, and it, it'll give away your position. But... At the same time, it's not every swing, and you have to only do it to humans. And it's kind of quiet, too. Yeah. So. I mean, it's not kind of a nice old. nice little Easter egg, but it would be more nice if it worked on structures. Like, the fact that it doesn't work on anything other than people, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. I don't like that. I think it should happen every four swings on anything. That would be cool. All right, so as you can see here, Ren has the stony back bling on. Unfortunately, we tested everything, and it does absolutely nothing. There's nothing special about it. It doesn't move. It doesn't get reactive at all. It's just a fat back bling without a face. That's what it is. Now, my back bling yeah. is the chair, and as I mentioned earlier, the little pillow will move left and right and up and down when you jump or run. So it's got a little bit of physics to it, but other than that, it's nothing unique, and the underside of it looks pretty bad. There's like a red fabric in a square hole. Yeah, it's like I don't the know. spring. Yeah. Like oh, spring. is that what that's supposed to be? Yeah. yeah. So, in my opinion, these two are nothing special. There's nothing unique about them. But let me ask you this, Ren. Would you ever wear 
any of the backlinks in this set? Either the chair, the face, or the TV. Would you ever wear any of those? Uh, probably the chair or the TV. The rock, uh, maybe, because it's gray and it could go with a lot of stuff. But personally, nothing much. Nothing much, okay. What about the pickaxe? Do you like this? The pickaxe I like. Okay. So, in your opinion, is the pack worth 1,200 V-Bucks? Uh, is it is, in my opinion. It is, okay. Because right. usually the blue back ones are 400, and the pickaxe is 800, so it's definitely steel. Well, that makes sense. All right. All right, so that's all there is to it for my Fortnite Classics review, as well as my How Is It Reactive on the Tube Top. Now, is it worth... 1200 V bucks. That is the question here. And I guess it all depends on personal preference on whether or not you would ever consider running any of these items. Now, me personally, I think the tube top as well as the Nomax pickaxe are great. They alone, for me at least, make this bundle worth 1200 V bucks. Now, would I ever run the chair or the Rocky back bling? Probably not. However, if you consider that the cheapest back bling in the game is 200 V bucks, and let's say Rocky's 200. The chair is 200, that's 400. I would say this would be at least 500 since it's reactive, and this would be at least 500. So if you add all of my fake values up, that's 1400 V Bucks. And the price, of course, is 1200, so in that regard, it's pretty much a steal. But like I said, these two alone, I think, warrant the 1200 V Buck price tag. You gotta remember that some pickaxes alone in this game are 1200 V bucks. Now as for the reactive feature of the tube top, it's not great. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're taking damage, you're not going to be focused on a teeny tiny TV back bling on your back. You're going to be focused on the turd Ferguson's that are doing the damage to you. Now if it lasted say 10 seconds, that would be actually pretty cool. However, it only lasts about 3 seconds or less. Now it's fine when there's a damage reactive feature on a skin itself, because if you take damage and your skin does something, you'll see that, you'll notice that even if you're fighting a battle. But on a tiny back bling like this, I don't know. Now of course it still is reactive, so it does have that going for it, but I'm just not a fan of how it's reactive. So of course I bought this pack just to review it, but would I have bought this without doing a review on it? I would still say yes, just because I like to collect reactive items. So if this wasn't reactive, I don't think I would have bought this. But with that said, I'm sure you can find at least one skin to make a sweet combo completion using this pickaxe. As for these two, I can't think of any skins on the top of my head that these would go with, but I'm sure someone can be creative out there. So is this worth 1200 V-Bucks? I'd say yes, but a borderline yes. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my review and if you like the reactive feature of the tube top backlink. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.